The next training video I want to talk about is the trending software. The trending software will last up to 72 hours of trending. Let's take a peek at where we access the trending. So under the waveform layout, I can just touch that. And then right there, there's a icon saying trending. And that will pop up your trending software. Now, what we kind of see on the screen is we can actually uh, look at different kinds of displays. So right now, I've got the peak pressure up here. I'm going to double tap that. And you can actually change what you want to see on the top displays or the bottom displays by simply just touching any parameter. I'll just touch resistance here. Same thing on the bottom, you can adjust that as well. There is really a cursor right here and it tells me the absolute time where my uh, cursor is. And so right on February 18th at 11.32, that is the actual uh, place where the cursor is being displayed. So as I go backward in time, I can begin to look and see what was the information maybe a couple hours ago. Once again, we can go back all the way to 72 hours. And there's a little timing bar on the bottom here, and so you can kind of see it's separated into a number of different time scales. But once again, 72 hours is the uh, furthest most point. As I get over any individual point, I can actually see what that value is in one of the boxes here. So if I want to see what was the actual numeric value, I can display that as well. As I'm going through this trending history, there is uh, basically some little events that pop up. So right in this blue area, you'll see 51, 53, 57. Uh, and I'm just going to touch on that. And it's going to let me know if things had happened, that there were some changes, mode change to ASIS control, a uh, number of things that happened. So the trending software is logging a number of events. Uh, there are automatic events that are logged, and there's also manual events that you can log. I'm going to go ahead and pull that off of the screen. Now, there was also some uh, information down here with presets. So in the presets, you can actually select one of these. For example, I'll select ARDS. And it will populate the screen with some parameters that might be good to look at in terms of trending variables associated with ARDS. And in these parameters, I can still change these. If I want to double tap these and change them, I can change them. But it's a starting point when you look at all the variables that someone has to look at around managing a patient on a critical care ventilator. So we've got preset ones. Then you can also customize ones. And so under this trending here, I can go to, let's say, two trends on the screen at one time. And then you can decide what is it that I want to look at on these uh, trended screens. So a lot of uh, flexibility and configurability there. This little blue area kind of lets you know where you're at with your cursor. So when I get about to this point here, obviously I run out of uh, any kind of trending at, at this perspective. To change the actual time scale, I actually touch the time scale and use the knob to adjust what I'm looking at. So now I'm going backward and I'm expanding the time duration. You can see that there's not very much on this display because I'm going more toward a 72 hour display. As I go in the right direction, these trends tended to get much larger and much more detail. So you touch the time display and use the knob to adjust the displays. Then I can also uh, mark some events. And so right here, there's a manual event button. So if I touch that, there are a number of manual events. And so you can see the variety of those. There's uh, several of them. Uh, there's even a second screen. And so you can pick whatever you'd like. Start uh, transport, touch that one, hit accept. And what that will do is it'll put one of these little um, hash marks so that you can locate. Now, when did we actually do that? And you can go back in time over it. And when you actually get over it, you can see the actual numbers associated with it. And once again, recall basically what happened. Was it some kind of manual event you marked or was it an automatic event that the ventilator marked, such as changes uh, that we see on the screen here? So with that, I would refer you to the operator's manual some, for some additional information around our trending software.